Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the equation of a line that passes through these two given points. And one more thing I want to tell you that I will be solving this problem by two different methods. So I will show you two different ways. So let's get started with our very first method. So the very first step is to find the slope m. And here is the formula for the slope y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And our two given points are, by the way, 2, negative 5, and the second point is negative 1 and 3. I want you to call the first point x1, y1. Second point I want you to call x2 and y2. And fill in the blanks. Use this formula. So our slope is going to be simply y2 in our cases. 3 minus y1 is negative 5 divided by x2 is negative 1 and x1 is minus 2, isn't it? So that becomes simply, that becomes 3, negative and negative become positive 5 divided by negative 3. So 8 over negative 3. Thus, our slope turns out to be negative 8 over 3. And our next next step, step number 2 is to use point slope form. And here is our point slope form formula over here. So before we get started, I want you to pick, you have to choose one point between the one that been given. So let's pick the easiest point. I'm gonna pick the point negative one comma three. That is the easiest one to me. You can pick any one, you have a choice. And we already have a slope negative eight over three. The next thing what I want you to call this point, whichever you picked, call x1 and y1. And now I want you to fill in the blanks in this formula. So what is gonna happen is y minus y1 in this case is three equal to m in our case is negative eight over three times x is x minus x1 is negative one. Do you see that thing? minus and negative one. So let's go ahead and simplify that thing. So y minus three is gonna become negative eight over three. See right now when you have a two negative signs next to each other, that becomes positive x plus one. So next thing, I, what I want you to do is, I want you to distribute. So this become negative eight over three x minus eight over three, and we got y minus three on this side. And now we wanna isolate y, so I'm gonna add three on both sides. So this cancels out, so we got y equal to negative eight over three x, and this, let me just show you how are you going to add these two quantities. You have negative 8 over 3 and you want to add 3, isn't it? Adding 3 is same as 3 over 1. And now I want you to use this easy method, crisscross. Okay, so what that means is you're going to be multiplying over here negative 8 times 1 this way first. So that's going to give you negative 8. Whatever this sign is, plus you just put down, you do the other way. 3 times 3 is 9 divided by your bottom numbers are 3 and 1. I want you to mul multiply them up. 3 times 1 is 3. So simply you got on the top is going to be a 1 divided by 3. So that means, so these, the quantity turns out to be a positive one over three, and that is our answer. And one thing, 
thing, just keep in your mind that this, our answer is in a slope intercept form. And as you recall that slope intercept form could be written as y equals to mx plus b. So this is y equal to mx b plus, plus b form. Now let me go ahead and show you the second method now. And by the way, the very first step is exactly same as the previous method. That means we're going to be finding the slope. And the slope is same, negative 8 over 3. And in the second step, we are going to find the value of b, that is y-intercept. And here is our formula for slope intercept form y equal to mx plus b. Before we find the value of b, we're going to pick one point again. We're going to pick one point and this time I'm going to pick once again negative 1 and 3. I think that's the easiest one. And our slope is already negative 8 over 3. So the next thing what I want you to do is in this one over here, I want you to call negative 1 as x and 3 as y. And now we're going to fill in the blanks in this formula. So y is how much in our case? y is simply 3 equals to m in our case is negative 8 over 3 x is negative 1 plus b that we don't know we're gonna figure out so 3 equals to negative and negative becomes positive 8 over 3 plus b so far so good now we want to isolate b so i am going to subtract 8 over 3 from both sides so this 8 over 3 and negative 8 over 3 is gone so b turns out to be we're going to be adding these or subtracting whatever these two quantities so let me write down these 3 minus 8 over 3 right somewhere here. 3 minus 8 over 3. 3 could be written as 3 over 1. Once again, I want you to crisscross and simplify it. This time, see, cross multiplication. So this simply become 3 times 3 is 9 this way. Whatever this sign is, just put it there. And 8 times 1 is 8 divided by your bottom numbers are 1 and 3. I want you to multiply them. 1 times 3 is 3. So we simply got 1 over 3. So that means if you simplify this thing, this turns out to be 1 over over 3 so our b turns out to be one third and then our final step is going to be we put our equation in a slope intercept form and our slope intercept form is y equal to mx plus b and we already know that our m equal to negative 8 over 3 and our b equals to one third let's fill in the blanks so y equal to negative 8 over 3 x plus 1 over 3 is our answer in a slope intercept form that is our answer thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos